Sí. See you down there balling in Miami, nigga. So what you fool? Right. What up, boy? Project will be hard.
little bit. Bill Drummond's in there, bitch, for what? I got plenty of new shit. <laughs> Niggas trying to rap over the skeleton. I made this shit earlier. Tell me what y'all think about this shit. Tape. 
Real shit. Give y'all some new vibes out there in the street, man. I ain't dropped shit in about two, two years. We ain't dissing nobody. Middle fingers. I love middle fingers. Man, what's next for um 2020, man? Hopefully... Hopefully we get out of this motherfucking quarantine, dog. Rest in peace to all the ones that we losing, man. From this coronavirus, man, this shit. This shit crazy, bro. Ready to battle anybody. Y'all could tell me who to battle. I'm here to guide all the young niggas, man, that's trying to learn facts. How to start off making beats and then making hits and then building businesses. You know what I'm saying? Building companies. And they said, I'm trash. Come on, bro. How you sound? How could I be trash? I always start with the drums. Or right, simple. I ain't never really been the one to play like keys and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I knew how to play keys, but I ain't never know how to play play keys. That's how I came up with the name Ear Drummers. somebody on my people though where my dogs at that's love live a legend vibe So would it? Yeah, we're on the MP right now.
Me and Mike Dean been work together. Lamborghini Mercy, the Don't Light remix. Fucking um, me and Mike Dean been work together. That's one of my favorite producers. I feel like the rap game. Definitely leaning towards the trash side, man. We gotta battle ourselves, man. We gotta push ourselves. Oh, Kenny Beats. What's up, my nigga? My boy, what's the deal? Hey, shit. Over here, I got down board as hell in the house. You got the studio in the house? Hell yeah. What's behind you? Grammys? Yeah, that's a Grammy back there. I hate you. It's a Grammy back there somewhere, one of them. What's the deal? You been working during all this or you been stressed? Right. You said, have I been stressed? Yeah, some people can't work under the stress. A lot of people just home and not don't feel creative right now. Um, man, I just be vibing, bro. I've been really going through my drives and shit, like organizing shit, cause you know I had lost my shit. So like, did you? Hell yeah, I had lost my drive, bro. Nine years worth of shit. The drives and the backup. Oh no! What happened? Man, long story, brother. Oh, that but, sucks. I'm sorry, bro. But at the end of the day, it's all a sign. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that you're you're a genius for taking it that way because some people will be very defeated. If I lost my hard drive or in all my backups, I would be very. On the I, was, I, was I, I was defeated. I was defeated for about two years, for like a year and a half. Now I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. bro, tell know? me why. Tell me why the fucking rap caviar beat battle. They put you against thirty. <laughs> they, they, they know they, they know it's ear drummer somewhere. <laughs> ear drummers, period. They put me against Mad Lib, who's my favorite producer ever, and I posted he's gonna smoke me. And somehow, like my too many of my fans went and voted this and that. And all these people are posting like, "Oh, look at this bullshit." Da, da, da. I'm like, I don't want to win. I don't even want to be in this battle. I never signed up. I'm not trying to be a part of it. Nothing. And still, everyone's on my Twitter like. Oh, bro, fuck this. You got to respect the goats. I'm like, I do. That's my favorite producer. Like, why the fuck would they put Mike Will and 30 up against each other? This shit makes no sense. Man, them niggas be out the loop, bro. But Man. that's real, though. I remember, I remember young, young 30 got down was just, you know what I'm saying? Just going, just just grinding. Now he going crazy. You know what I'm 30 saying? Came up, 30 came on my show on YouTube. Him and Yachty came on. For real? Yeah. How's how's plus? I haven't talked to plus. Uh, plus going crazy. I haven't talked to bro in a minute. No, plus going crazy. Mike, play some on, play some beats, Mike. I'm over here making one right now. I'm over here drunk as hell on the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you cook. I gotta finish this dinner. I'm gonna call you. Uh, hey, I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you some shit. Let's send me some shit. The, Let's make, make up. Let's make a beat. Let's make a beat on it? Twitch. You, you know I'm on Twitch every day. We gotta make a beat on Twitch. I do it. Why they keep calling sure. me? The, why they keep calling you the police? Bro, because Vince Staples called me the police on my show, <laughs> and they won't stop bothering me. <laughs> they on your ass, bro. Bro, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> All right, bro. Peace. I'm my boy Kenny like that.
Y'all hear on that shit? Watch out, get his head back, right? I'm gonna be with him. You know, he might look young, nigga. I hear the 808 over the phone, though, man. I'm on these weak ass mixing speakers right now. Shit ain't even knocking. I hate these speakers. A new beat. <laughs> I see this beat, my boy. I've been on my, I've been on my up north shit, son. I've been sampling this shit, son. Boy, I've been sampling this shit, son. Smart the boy, young. What up, young? Appreciate that shit. Who y'all here on that motherfucker? Bitch, huh? Clear killer. Clear send that shit, a bitch, huh? Whoa. Oh, plus, what up, boy? I've been on my New York shit, on my sampling shit. I made this shit earlier, man. Tell me what y'all think about this shit. box of cookies because you really know how to make beats. Don't forget I was making beats before you could bust a nut now. Don't forget I was out there with Gucci at 16 making beats when there was one man band, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Sean Ferrari, what up, boy? Sean Ferrari, the hardest young nigga coming up. Nigga like the new shot of red nigga smashing on chop. Chop squad DJ, what up, boy? Hey, chop squad, I really need you to play keys on this beat I just made, bro. That's what's gonna take it all the way out of here. Matter of fact, no, nah, I'm saying I was making beats before you could bust a nut. There ain't no gay shit to say. I know you ain't talking over there, laying down, rolling your eyes and shit with your with your goddamn shirt off and shit. Looking at niggas all day, talking about niggas all day. Hey, Chop Squad. Hey. DJ. Yo, can't even hear you, bro. Is that my shit or your shit? Niggas want the beat making of the year award. I did everything myself. I made the drums. I did the keys. I rapped on the song. Man, I want all the extra credit. Man, you don't get no extra credit for doing everything by yourself, man. The people just want to hear the finishing product. And then everybody get their praise. You don't get an extra Grammy. You don't get an extra number one. Just for all the producers out there. You don't get an extra Grammy, an extra number one, an extra pat on the back or anything for saying that you did it yourself. You know what I'm saying? So as a producer, you got to make you got to make the best wave file. All you're doing is stacking rhythm and melody. You know what I'm saying? That's all you're doing, stacking rhythm and melody. You know what I'm saying? Rhythm, 
could be flows or melody could be singing or you know what I'm saying? Rhythm could be rhythm is the drums and melody could be the keys. I ain't never been no nigga that played the keys. I wish I could. I can't play the keys. I'm an ear drummer. You know what I'm saying? I I do everything by ear. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been no nigga that could really play the keys. I wish I could learn sit down and learn how to play the keys. But that's why I pass shit over to Chop Squad DJ, cause he a fucking fool. He a fool with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or my nigga Pete Nasty, he a fool with that shit. Or my nigga A plus, he a fool with that shit. I'm a real producer. You know what I'm saying? I know how to pass the buck. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga can score a goddamn 60 points and lose the championship. And guess what? You ain't no champ. You know what I'm saying? A nigga like me, I'm all about trophies, man. I'm all about, I'm all about goddamn winning trophies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, until the nigga get one of these, you know what I'm saying? They got to shut the fuck up. Because I want this off of Humble, man. I made this beat in five minutes by myself. And you know what I did? You really know what I did? I made that beat in five minutes. My nigga Plus came in. My nigga Plus came in the studio and was like, damn, bro, that beat hard as a motherfucker. That shit done. I said, nah, bro. It ain't done till you add something to it. He was like, nah, I really think it's done. I'm like, nah. You got to add something to it. He was like, fuck it. I add, some, I add a sound effect to it or something. You know what I'm saying? He added a sound effect to it, and I split that song with him. And we both won a Grammy. Now we got two Grammys. The squad got two Grammys. You feel me? The squad got two Grammys. Off of that one song, now I could have said, oh, I want to do this shit by myself. Just so I could tell a nigga like, oh, I did it by myself. And ha, 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 ha. And all that little shit. But I ain't no nigga like that. I ain't no nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga. I like that. I, I feel like as a producer, that's why I salute Kanye. Niggas like Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like, Man, that production line is everything. Like when you when you go in and you look at that production line and see like different gems and shit, like, yo, damn, this person did this, this person played the keys, this person did that, this person did that. Man, that shit got down really, really next level. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like niggas like struggling producers that be on live all day and got down and niggas comments all day and shit like, man, what is you doing it for, bro? You taking yourself too serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just calm down, bro. And and know this shit is about art, bro. This shit ain't even about you. You know what I'm saying? The people going to decide if they like the song. Then they going to go back and fucking do their research and be like, yo, who was a part of this song? Oh, shit, damn. DJ played the keys? Oh, damn. P. Nasty played the keys? Oh, shit. Plus played the key. Oh, what it might will do. I don't care if a nigga be like, man, Mike Will don't know how to make beats. Man, come on, bro. I've been making beats since goddamn 2006, 2007 when I was in high school. Leaving high school and goddamn pulling up on Gucci. Uh, Air Drummers was a one-man band. Then I met A Plus in high school. Then I hit him. I was like, yo, man, I feel like the, I feel like the fucking production company should be called Air Drummers, bro. You know what I'm saying? And all we're going to do is link with young niggas who, who fucking – who want to, you know what I'm saying, like, push shit forward, who have, like, a forward-pushing ear. You feel me? And that's all I've been. That's all I've been on since day one. And so I built the whole team. Now I got a team of producers. That's when you hear niggas be like, man, yo, Mike Will don't know how to make beats. That's what they saying, because I built a team of producers, and we like X-Men. You know how, like, X-Men, everybody got their own shit. Like, you know what I'm saying, Cyclops, you got Wolverine, you got all these different, you got Storm, you got all these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's because that's that's how ear drummers is, bro. Everybody got their own their own fucking specialty. You know what I'm saying? And then I turned into Big Willie the CEO. Once I once I built my team, I turned into Big Willie the CEO. I'm 26. Might well 2012. I was 18. Man, bro, I was I was 18 and. In 2007, I changed the game for all the young niggas. Say I ain't lying. Nigga, niggas was hearing Mike Will made it on the radio way before they were hearing goddamn Young Chomp on the beat. Nigga, I'm probably the reason why your ass wanna got a tag. A lot of motherfuckers ain't never even heard of you. You know what I'm saying? I showed you how far we could take it. You know what I'm saying? I showed you how far we could take it. Real talk.
I was outside, nigga. I jumped off the porch, nigga. I'm moving around doing mix mixtape tracks for everybody for free. Nigga, I had 50 mixtape songs in the street. Didn't make no money off that shit. Next thing you know, shit, shit on the radio. You know what I'm saying? Boom, we do a publishing deal. I ain't sign no publishing deal until I can do a joint venture and I could get all my niggas a check. You know what I'm saying? I signed four producers. Boom, all four of them got six figure checks. You know what I'm saying? Man, y'all child, niggas have heard of you. Niggas ain't heard of you when I was out, though. When niggas was saying Mike Will made it, when niggas was hearing Mike Will made it, ain't nobody heard of you, my boy. Come on, boy. You got to upgrade yourself, bro. Before you start talking that big shit to big dogs, you got to upgrade yourself, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Quit playing with me, boy. You know you my young nigga, and I, bro, I ain't got nothing but love for you. You my young nigga, though. So you got to stay at a young nigga place. And I, I ain't never try to go big on you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never try to go big on you, boy. But you my young nigga. Th I'm 31 years old. I never try to be like a 26-year-old nigga. I've been there and done that. Everything that you're trying to do, I done been there and done that. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Built a whole motherfucking company. Before any manager came in, before any publishing deal came in, we had a company, bro. We had songs on the radio. We had two mixtapes out. Matter of fact, we had three mixtapes out. We had three songs on the charts. We had hella songs in the strip. We had every song in the strip club in the city. You can ask Atlanta, nigga. I ain't lying. Nigga, we had every song in the strip club in the city. Before we even had any goddamn kind of deals or anything like that, any kind of managers or anything like that, bro. You feel me? And then I, I knew all the young, I knew like how everybody was sleeping on me. I knew how that felt. Sitting outside the studio, calling motherfuckers. I can't even get in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like different producers that's popping. You know what I'm saying? They they, they got down, they, they just going big. They weren't fucking with none of us young niggas. Ask Sonny Digital who was the first, first nigga to fuck with him. Ask them. Sunday Digital was got down 16. You know what I'm saying? But they weren't fucking, they were sleeping on us young niggas. If I press the line, I'm pulling up to all the studios. Gucci was the first nigga. Hey, bro, pull up. Hey, bro, pull up. You know what I'm saying? We do no pad, no pencil. Just another day in East Atlanta 6. Ash, I gotta explain it. It's just inspiration to the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? I am, I'm not even talking to nobody sp specific. I'm not talking to no struggling producers. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to only producers that want to be inspired. But when we did Just Another Day in East Atlanta 6, I ain't had no tag. But I started off in a group with my nigga Marvelous J. When I was 14, he had a tag. He had songs all over the radio. So I was like, when Just Another Day in East Atlanta 6 came out and that was a hood classic, and I Smoke Kush, I Pop Beans came out, and that was a hood classic. I was like, oh, shit. Man, I need to goddamn, I need to come with my own tab, bro. Like, for real. Then I got my sister, Haitian. Hey, yo, can you say Mike Will made it right quick? Boom, came up with a tag. Then I started tagging all my records. You feel me? So when a nigga try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you can't try to undermine the boss. You can't try to undermine the self-made boss. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no industry plant over here. This ain't no industry plant. Nigga, I got this shit out the mud, nigga. And ain't no nigga gave me shit, nigga. I ain't never walk around with my hand out, nigga. I ain't had shit. Nigga, I was riding around in the Dennett Bonneville. You know what I'm saying? In the Dennett Bonneville. 2005, motherfucker. I thought I'd never see a motherfucking plaque Grammy or none of that shit. Nigga, I got all that shit. Now I'm Big Willie the CEO. Now all my young niggas going crazy. And I'm ready to sign more young niggas to go crazy and take over the game. You feel me? Not niggas that's taking themselves too serious and thinking like it's all about me, 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 me. It ain't no I and team. It's a me and team, but it ain't no I and team, my boy. You can't do, you can't do that.
Can't do that. I'm like Bill Belichick. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Bill Belichick right now. Big Willie, the CEO, is equal to goddamn Bill Belichick. You feel me? So when the Patriots keep winning back to back to back, it's because they got Bill Belichick. They got goddamn Tom Brady. They got the whole motherfucking team. I ain't mad, bro. I'm just, I'm schooling you, young nigga. That's what I always did. I always schooled you. you know, I ain't mad, my boy. I'm over here sipping on my tequila. I don't have the same kind of problems you got. I hope the best for you, though. You know what I'm saying? Everything you're doing, the way you're moving around, that shit looking real sad, bro. And I really feel sad for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You was just at my building. I fell asleep in the building. I want to. I ain't gonna fall asleep to uh, around no nigga I don't trust. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna goddamn fall asleep around no nigga I don't trust. I fuck with you, bro. I, I really looked at you like you know what I'm saying, like a little bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't been nothing but love. You, you everybody know. My will don't get into it with nobody. My will don't be with all that internet shit. My will don't goddamn be arguing with nobody. My will be chilling. My will is a player. You know what I'm saying? My will is a player. I don't be with all that rah rah shit. I don't be with all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Really, I had brought you up in my live the other day because I'm thinking like shit, man. Oh shit, my nigga Chop. Oh boom, brought you up there. And goddamn, you got on there like you a drill sergeant. Like you finna drop, like I'm finna drop down and give you 50. Why make a beat on live? Make a beat, man. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, my shit wasn't even hooked up. The fuck? I made beats for fun. That shit is a hobby. Just like I gamble on 2K, nigga, I gamble with my beats. It is what it is. You take this shit way too serious. I don't, I don't take it that serious. Buying real estate and got down, you got to be able to evolve. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't trying to be the nigga who can make the goddamn, but I can make a beat by myself. Nigga, still, nigga, 13 years later, I can still make a beat by myself. Like, what the fuck, nigga? I got bigger goals, brother. Way bigger goals. I'm, grown, I'm a grown-ass man, too. If a nigga, if a nigga any, if a nigga younger than me, you know what I'm saying? By like 10 years, and you try to flip it like, I ain't influenced nothing that you did. Man, that shit is goddamn wild, bro. You a fucking, you just fucking delirious, or you just a fucking hater. I don't entertain haters. I don't entertain no haters. Like, you're not my equal. We're not equals. You know what I'm saying? We're not equals, bro. You got a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do. You know what I'm saying? Work, my nigga. Work. You have a lot of work to do. Work on yourself. Work on your craft. You know what I'm saying? Work on opening your mind. Work, work, and learn the business, too. So you quit sounding so dumb out here, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to learn the business. You feel me? I just made a beat. <laughs> Nigga, I just made a beat. Then it was like, oh, he got a sample in it. Oh, he can't make a beat without a sample. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, man, come on, bro. Chop, we done made beats. All right, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Who remember this shit? Oh, that's not what I was looking for. But I know y'all remember that. The I smoke Kush. Yo, what up? This is Lorenz, 1500 Nothing. I'm a producer, songwriter, and co founder of 1500. Salute, 
nigga said what? That nigga said what? Shout out to the homie Mike Will, 18 year old gunner on the track. Hold on, hold on. And that's how you execute a vision. You know what I'm saying? He says, shout out to the homie Mike Will on the track. 18-year-old gunner on the beat. Big up to the whole Ear Drummers crew. This was back in 2008. Now it's 2020. And it, like 30 Rock just bought a motherfucking Lambo truck. He got a Grammy. My boy Plus got a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody else got platinum records. That's how you execute a vision. That's